Hello my beautiful badges, Messi Coda back again. This time I'm getting mucky with you because we're playing with Messi's ultimate customization kit, otherwise known as Muck. That's right, you can customize anything you want, not just people, you can customize buildings, cars, weapons, anything. In this video, I'm just playing about with Sinti's Polygon Fantasy Heroes pack because there's just so much stuff in this pack. You can customize everything to your heart's content. Let's go crazy spinning. Yes. Let's spin! Spin, you beautiful, beautiful bugger! Having a to ladies! Spin those ladies! Round and round! Yes! Let's get mucky! Sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you all in a second! In this video, we're playing about with Muck, Messi's ultimate customization kit. I'm going to show you how you can get started. We're going to be customizing one of these Polygon Fantasy Hero characters from Cinti Studios. Okay, well, let's make uh, a Muck. So we go here to the tools, the Messi Coder. So tools, the Messi Coder, and go to Muck settings. I'm going to dock my Muck settings. There we go. And it tells me straight away that we don't actually have a Muck Manager. I'm going to click that, and it will create a Muck Manager for me. And now I'm going to create a setting. So I'm going to call this one Messy Test. Boom. And it also tells me there hasn't actually been set. So I'm going to click Set. There we go. And now it's green. And it's magically appeared over here. And I can also change the path. If I set folder path, uh, you see here I've got my muck tests uh, data. And that's where I'm going to save as my path. And now I can go here and create some stats if I want, but I'm not going to use that for this tutorial. All I care about, I'm going to make some genders. So I'm going to make a male gender, and I'm going to make a female gender. And you'll see that straight away, uh, folders have been created, good character genders. That's where they've shoved them in. If I click on them, I can even set a nice little image and put some text and blah, 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 if I want to. But I don't want to. Don't worry about that. Now, if I go over here, I can create races and classes. So that would be great. Or I can just turn them off. If I want, so uh, as first things, let's let's make a, a simple one. So let's make a, a simple race. I'm going to call this uh, human. Ready? Uh, and I'm going to make a simple class. I'm going to call this class uh, warrior. Okay? Or warrior? He worries a lot. No, he's a warrior. And boom. But you could make more, and more, and more, and more. But well, there we go. I've just created a human warrior. And I've got male and female. And if I click on my human, I can now start customizing it so i can say that i can have a male and a female and then start setting either a prefab or in our case we want a muck so an avatar set for mucks we don't have any avatar sets yet oh no so we need to create them yes so before that we need to go over here and go to avatars and then create a set so i'm just going to call this one a test set Boom. Now I can actually make two sets and call this one a uh, female set. If I wanted to have my sets separate, male and female, if I wanted to, so then I could have a, a male set and a female one. So here's female and this one could be a test. There you go, if I wanted. But I don't want, I'm just going to have one for the sake of this video and then we're all going to share the same one. So don't worry about that. So I'm going to delete this little friend here. Don't need you anymore. And I'm going to go back to my type over here on the humans. And I'm going to say that male and female are both using the test set. Brilliant. Isn't that lovely? Yes, it is. Now, if I wanted, I could go even crazier and have the, the classes having their own sets as well. So I can have a, a warrior male having a different set and a different image and everything from a, from a female warrior. But I'm not. I'm just going to have... Uh, male and female, right? Human are both using the same set. We could have just actually just have that all because they're both using the same thing. So all humans use this set. That works exactly the same way as well. So that's, that's a lot easier for us, isn't it, to manage? We could also set all these skills and things, but we're not going to play with that just yet. We're not going to play with that just yet. So now I need to start making some avatars. At the moment, we don't have any. Ah, oh, that's sad. Okay, next part is avatars. I'm going to grab this modular characters here from Cinti, and I'm just going to remove the things that we don't need and generate a new prefab out of it. So open up all of these. 
live on parts if you hold down alt on your keyboard and click you'll actually open up everything so you go through and just hide all of these inside bits it's very boring very boring indeed so i'm just going to pause this video and do that and when i've finished i'm going to drag it and copy it into this prefabs folder as a new prefab i have finished making my little man and i've named him polygon fantasy hero and i've copied him into my prefabs folder and first thing we're going to find if we go over here and type in muck now oh i need to change the spelling of all these things see some of them have got the muck and some of them have got the old muck spelling oh dear so i'm going to click on avatar slots because if it's an avatar we're going to call this one poly fantasy fantasy avatar or oh, have it at you so here we go it's a type of slot it's an avatar that we've got for this one and he's using the polygon his fantasy hero he's grabbed it because he knew where we were so he's grabbed it in there you can drag that in yourself but he knows so he grabbed it we can also set these group settings if in there as well so it's available for all genders all races and all classes we can also set materials on this if we wanted but i think we're fine with that that's all we need to do we've set that now we need to add our muck local mounts and we're going to start adding some mounts in for this one let's pop back over here uh, actually you know first things first let's click save use our magic wand back over to the messy settings and if we go over to our avatar now we'll be able to drag in this little badger because you will know who he is look here he is yes here you are brilliant that's lovely jubbly and now we've got the fun task of making the slots there are so many in this pack it's ridiculous i would advise you to close all of these so you can see them just how many there are oh my word oh my word so we've got in total how many one two or oh, no, 12 here and 12 that's 24 we can count 24 we're gonna make 24 slots oh, so we can do the first one and i would suggest put the numbers in front of them so head zero zero is going to be my head i've done it zero zero is my head and then i've got zero one head coverings and i need to do it with a capital letter there i just won't be able to sleep at night after what feels like a lifetime i have slowly typed in all of the slots that i need for this and you see that I've chose a slightly different numbering convention. I've put like 101 head and all the head things start with a 100. Uh, the torso things start with a, in the 200s. Uh, the, the lower body in the 300s and extras are in the 400s. And I can also put an extra, 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 extra 402 masks. Just for something crazy later on. That will do. I've renamed my, it's Poly Fantasy Hero Avatar. I've renamed it so it's nicer. And I'm going to click on add mounts. Now we can start adding in our mounts. This again, it's going to take a little bit of time, but not too much time because we've got some nice bulk importing tools. So the first mount I'm going to do here are, is our head. Now we've got two sets of heads. So that's going to be fun. Uh, we want nested models is what we want. So here we'll see that it's looking and it's saying where are nested models. If I click plus, you'll notice that it wants another avatar. It's not, not this one. This is where the fun magic happens. We need to go and find, let's find our heads, because there's so much stuff over here. Um, where are we? So, head, female. How many heads does the female have? She has two heads. That's right, two different sets of heads. Now, I could just make one set of head uh, and just drag them both in, but to make my life easier, I'm going to separate these two. Let's pop over to the scene view so we can see what we're doing. I'll open them up. You will see it's grab one of them and there's a head a lovely head or with elements which means that you'll be able to use hair or eyebrows or uh, moustaches or whatever uh, on, on this head if you wanted uh, and hide that head and i go over to the head no elements you'll see that there's no elements available on this one now this one's a little bit misleading because it says no elements available but you could still get away with putting hair under that so that's a to me that's a bad example of no elements but since he's basically saying if you're going to be wearing this mask 
then don't have anything else. But I, I'm not sold on that, to be honest, myself. Uh, and, and if I look at some of the others, see that one, you can easily say, don't have any hair on that. So these are going to be some great examples of what we can play about with muck. So let's go to the easy, easiest one, which is head all elements. I go here, I'm going to type in muck avatar slots, and we're going to change that one to be a nested model. And if we grab its name, which is always recommend because it makes life a lot easier, grabbing that, and then open up the group settings, and I'm also going to change that to female. And over here on materials, I'm going to change this and call this default as my name of my list. Uh, I'm going to lock this a second. I love this little lock. Lock that. And let's go to the materials. Now, since it's got a load of custom materials uh, and standard ones, and if I just add another inspector, just so you can see over here, if I click over these, just a standard uh, shader material. If I go to this one, it's using Cinti's own custom, which means you can customize all of these. Now, I'm going to use these custom ones because in the future we'll be able to take advantage of that and change all of these because I've got nice little helper scripts to help us with that. So there we go. I actually uh, coded myself one of these custom shaders uh, for, for Mark which was uh, a fun little thing but since he's got their own one which is far more detailed. I like that. I like that a lot. I like it. Let's pop back then. Uh, we can close this. Close you and I'm going to drag all of these little badges, all of these little badges, over into this lot list here. There we go. I could, if I wanted, let's minimize this, create a second slot, and I call this one standard. Uh, if I could spell the word standard, standard. And I'm going to call this one, actually, a uh, custom Cinti material. So here we go. And if I open up the, the, st the standard one, and I can drag in the standards. Now I've got two sets. See? I can I can now take advantage of the power of muck. The power of muck. What is the power of muck, I hear you ask? Well, I'll be able to just muck about with the materials later. But for now, uh, all I care about is having these lists available. So when I go to my bulk import, I can actually say, you know what? Everyone is going to be using the custom Cinti that I will import in. And we don't have to worry about hiding any models because they're just the simple ones. I've still got it locked at the top here. I'm going to grab these female heads, holding my shift key, grab them all and drag them into my object list. And now what it will do is it will create a model for each of these using these settings. I'm going to use the origins because I've already declared my gender for this entire group at the top. If I was going to be dropping in male and female and other genders into the same list, then I would use this to customize. But they're all going to be a, a, a list per gender to make my life a lot easier. I can also customize the races and the classes if I want. But again, for this, it's very simple. I'm just going to be just using one. I'm going to click Add Models, and there you go. They're all done, just like magic. Fantastic. Now let's make another set. I'm going to make another set for this here. I'm going to untick you because we don't need to be locked anymore. And I'm going to go and create another muck. And this one's going to be slightly different. Oh, and look over here. Change it to nested. Change the group to female. Again, uh, a little bit annoying because I've got to copy my materials over each time if I'm going to be doing that. So it's not sharing. We could add a new feature in the in the future that would share like a global material list. That sounds like a good idea, but for now, I'm just going to go and put uh, Cinti as my main one. And don't forget to lock it. And I'm just going to drag in these into there. And now, I'm going to close that over here in the hide, because it says no elements. It expects you to have no elements. I'm going to say we're going to hide the hair. We're going to hide the eyebrows, hide facial hair for if we ever were going to add facial hair to the ladies. Um, I'm not going to keep the attachments because I think they look honky. I'm going to hide the head coverings. I'm going to go to my bulk import down here. I'm going to say that all of these are going to use my Cinti material. And we are still locked. 
Let's drag in these. Boom. Drag them in. And they're just gonna I'm just gonna take all of these settings we've got here. So I've got I've got my female set up on top, so I don't have to worry about that. So I'm not gonna set anything here, I'm not gonna set my races, I'm not gonna set my classes or even any overrides. Add those models. Now I'm gonna find that first one, which was the plague mask, and I'm gonna put an override. So the override, I'm gonna say, you know what? I'm gonna allow it to have hair. So this mask is not gonna hide the hair, everything else is going to hide the hair but this plague mask is not going to hide hair if you happen to have hair on your model and if you just want to go through and see i'm just going to untick that i go through and i can see which other ones might allow hair if i wanted but i think you know generally just that first one yeah so that plague plague mask i'm allowing hair on it because I'm generous like that. You know what else I'm going to allow? You know what else I'm going to allow? I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm going to go to that plague mask. I'm also going to allow the head coverings. So I'm going to allow hair and head coverings. Because that's how we roll. We're going to do that. going to save again. Control S, save. There we go. So now I've got two different um, sets I've made. I've got this one here, which is allowing all elements. It's just a standard list of heads. It's, got, it's not hiding anything. I've got uh, two material lists I put in there, custom Sinti's, but they're all just using the custom Sinti one here. And they're available for all genders, which is fine because up here in the group, I'm filtering only for females. So even though they say all here, actually they won't get listened to because the entire group only cares about the female gender in this list. And the other one we've got here, a little bit more detailed because it will hide hairs, eyebrows, facial hair, and head coverings, apart from this top one, which I'm allowing hair and head coverings to be allowed. Now if I go back over to root, we can create a second slot and I can drag in my head, all elements, and my head, no elements. And you know what else we're going to do? I'm going to show you uh, how to do something a little bit more fancy when it comes to uh, doing lots of similar sets. So here we've got head coverings. You notice where we've got base hair, head coverings, no facial hair, and no hair. Actually. All of these and everything that we're going to be doing is going to be sharing the same set of materials. And I met, you know, I mentioned earlier about uh, it'd be nice if I had some kind of list. The more I think about it as I'm doing this video, thinking actually that might not be the best solution. This could be the best solution. What I'm going to show you now. If I go to group settings and I now make a list and I call this uh, Cinti. Okay, I'm just going to call it Cinti because it's their custom shader. I'm going to lock that in. And over here in the custom materials, if I click and now drag them in here i've got my set done of uh custom materials i can now copy this component and i'm gonna as long as i keep this in my clipboard i can use this and paste this and all of the other places that i want uh, and that's what i'm gonna do so i'm now gonna go over here to no facial hair and i'm gonna paste that in and it's kept this list of materials and I'm going to do the same over here. So this one. And boom. I've got that one with the list of materials. And I can do it for everything else. And that's what I'm going to do. Because I'm crazy. So let's pause and do that. And I'll add in all these other parts. Uh, and then I'll see you in a second. And again, what feels like a lifetime. I've finished adding all of these parts. And I've added the chest well, the chest is the only one I haven't got because there's nothing there inside there. Everything else seems to have something. So, back attachments, got a lot of back things. And going through to the facial hairs. If I go to the main one, you'll see that we've got everything populated in there. Apart from, of course, the, the chest attachments. Now, we've also got the females and the males, when they do have two sets of each, inside the same mount point, which is important. Your male, uh, female eyebrows and male eyebrows, and um, oh, I forgot to put the torso. <gasps> Silly me, forgot to put the torso. So if I type in torso, I can grab the male torso. That's better. Oh, you nearly forgot one, didn't we? So we have we got the male arms, female arms in there. Great. Oh, great. Everything else, everything else is perfect. Wonderful. My little test scene. I've thrown some things into to help me get started. And I've also got some empty objects over here. 
and I've got this spawn, which I've got this very simple object rotation script that I've made for, for fun as well. Uh, and over here in my messy events, I'm going to throw in something called messy events. With my character, guess what? We're going to throw in something called character. It's got a little pussycat. Uh, and also another character script called muck character, where a lot of magic happens. And I'm going to just drag over my character into there. Uh, and over here, I can select my human, my warrior, and my female to get me started. I don't have a, a faction, uh, and that's good enough over there. I don't have any skills or stats or anything. Uh, I don't have any XP either. And I can tick this little auto start. And over here on the Mac Manager, I'm going to put a, a Mac Manager object. Oh, wonderful. And you see we are our little spawn point. That way I can now drag in my spawn location. Now I've also got uh, some little camera uh, toys to play about with. And all I've done is I've got some empty objects with uh, different transform positions uh, for my start and my face camera, which will, camera will be a little bit closer. And we're just going to lerp the camera between those places. So I can drag in my main camera into the main camera, the start camera into the start position and the face into the face. Uh, also going to take this control the camera thing magic there you go and then into my canvas i've got some little presents as well boom open them up so this little rotatey thing all that does is just start spinning uh, our spawn point and i've got this head and body that i can just switch between the two different uis i'm gonna because there's so many we, we've got so many mount points with this one that it would just be huge so i've split them into head and body and if I go back over to my Mac Manager, I'm just going to drag in these UI things. You don't need to do this, obviously, but for me, I'm just dragging them in to make this little demo a little bit sexier. Now, I've also made uh, some little presents for you. So if I go into the uh, body UI element here, down into my Mac Prefabs folder UI option, uh, I can just drag in this little, I see it's just a very simple basic a little UI element that I've made and I've got a little script on there. Uh, I don't need to put anything in the Mac Manager or grab it once we start and I choose which slot I want this little button to be for. I can even give it a name, head, like that uh, and I can then add a, add a, duplicate that and now on the other one I can make that one for hair and I'll call this one hair. So let me just pause and I'll just fill up my scene with lots of lovely things. Now I've been very busy while I've been paused, I've added in all of these wonderful buttons and you see even so many I've had to put a, a scroll view in there. So I've got heads and, and bodies separated, I've even got myself a little randomizer button over here. Uh, if I go over, you'll see that I've got a little random button and uh, all it's doing, actually, it's got a method called randomizer. I've thrown in all of these into an array and then it goes for each one and it, and it just randomizes each one of these and they've got buttons for the male and female and that's using a little script called character update button uh, and that checks I've said it was going to be a gender and I've thrown in what gender I'm going and it's got looking for the button and I've dragged over the character as well so it knows which character I'm going to be mucking about with and it will update it to that gender likewise the same for the female and down here I've got some rotations little little silly things that will just rotate and on my spawner, I've got my object rotation script. And I found my camera and my slider, that one over there, onto there. My muck manager is looking lovely with all of the UI elements thrown in. And on my character, I've got my character from over here. And the auto start ticked on. And I've set my human or a female. And I don't have any factions. But it's a lot of fun. Let's click play and see what crazy things happen. Here we are inside the deepest, darkest jungles. And there's a nice little fire going on to keep us warm. And we've got our lovely lady. If we go through, we can choose. And if I just rotate around so you can see on her back, there she is. She's got a back attachments. They're all lovely. And we can go back to the front here and we can have our hips. And there we go. Lots of nice things. Oh, lovely. Lots of nice attachments that she's having. You can go Michael Jackson one glove if you want. And to her legs and knee attachments as well and if we go into the face 
lerp into the face. We can change the heads. They've got different scars and things. We can change the hair. We can also change the eyebrows. We can. She doesn't have a beard. And we can also change here the attachments that she's got. And if you put on a head covering, Harry Potter style, uh, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a nice covering there. So it's a let's get rid of get rid of these. Go back to here and choose a, a different hair style. There we go. And just give her some elf ears, lovely elf ears. And if I got this attachment, now if I choose a different head, that might hide things. Let's find one. Let's find one. Here we go. We've got one here. Oh, we forgot we forgot to suppress our elf ears. So there you go. We found we've we've added in uh, our elf ears and we and we forgot to suppress them. Hence the elf ears are poking out. So if I go in and pause it a second. We go and we check out this young lady over here, and we'll find our head, female head, no elements. Here they are, female head, no elements, and you'll see what it's covering up. It says it's going to hide hair, it's going to hide eyebrows, it's going to hide uh, beard, facial hair. If they're going to and coverings, uh, what we could do is then um, add in the elf ears into that. So that's what we'll have to do when we when we unpause it. So we so we're hiding those ears. And if we swip over now to go over here so we can see. Go over to the male. There we go. Now we flipped over to the male. And he does have beards and he can have different things. Look at that. Beautiful little one there. And a nice little Harry Potter hat as well. And he can have elf ears as well. If I click on random, dun dun dun. It's randomizing few things. Oh, look at that. It's lovely. That's a nice random one. Here he is. And I've got this little little rotator to keep us busy rotating. Lovely. Okay, that's it. That's muck. I hope you enjoy it. It uh, this is possibly the the large one of the largest customizations packs I uh, will have seen available since he uh, I've offered so much to do. We can also add even more things. We can add our own custom prefab slots on here i'll show you how to do that another time but there you go that's, that's that's muck so go get yourself mucky and don't forget to wash your hands when you finish so if you do like it and then don't forget also to click on this beautiful subscribe button down below that's all of your friends random people in the street that muck is coming to the asset store so if you do like it click it till next time if you want to see more of my crazy videos click on the left side of your screen now and down below there's that big juicy subscribe button and right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.